Welcome back to Top 5 Plays Week 277. This video is sponsored by Plays.tv and they're giving away 8 items off the Riot Games merch store, so stay tuned. But without further ado, let's jump into some plays. Starting us off at number 5, we have Andrew So on Lucian. We start off with Andrew leaping into battle via Thrush Lantern. Syndra takes down Hecarim and pushes Andrew back with Scatter the Weak, but he comes back, takes her down, and initiates one of the smoothest callings I have ever seen. Bard goes down and Jarvan is the next to go for the Quadra. Let's take a look at the magical drive-by one more time. Beautiful. It's nice to see Elise on the list. At number four, we have A13 Triple X on Elise, and we start off with A13 coming to her Leona's aid. She does land the cocoon, but Leona's fate is sealed. Lee kicks Katarina away. Echo chrono breaks, and the two foes make a break for A13 dodges Timewinder's backspin before pursuing, and Katarina forces Echo to flash. They finally catch up, but Katarina went in too deep and goes down. A13 backs up to assess the situation. She even warns Kled of the dangers, but Kled does not listen very well, and with her cooldowns back up she unloads her kit on Sivir dodges Lee Sonic Wave with Repel and lands to finish off Sivir she exits stage left trying to escape her two assailants Lee Sin safeguards over the wall and she dodges Sonic Wave walks through the gate he dodges Cocoon and she straight up goes in the old-fashioned way mano y mano at number three, Diamond player Xerxes on Katarina. Xerxes and her team are pushing mid lane. Tristana baits the blue team and Xerxes reacts, instantly disposing the two foes. She chases after the Lux and immediately dodges Lux's binding after using Shampoo. She walks up and uses Sinister Steel into Ignite and a dagger to the face stops the Fatal Laser. And with the reset, she erases Misfortune, Zonia's, and Shampoo's to a minion. It's the thought that counts, Tristana. At number two, we have Arid Hell on Graves. With the Nexus open, it's looking like a clean victory for the red team, but the blue team is going down fighting. Thresh grabs Amumu with Death Sentence and locks down Yasuo with his box. Amumu lands his Bandage Toss, that Exhaust Force arrow off the Nexus. He shoots off his collateral damage and flashes the Tempest Tornado dredge line. Nautilus and Yasuo focus the Thresh, attacking the Nexus. Amumu cannot handle a 1v1, so Nautilus replaces him, but instead of helping, Nautilus just allows Arrow to lifesteal off of him. Thresh will finally go down, and just as Ash's arrow lands, he blinds her with Smokescreen, preventing her from attacking. Era focuses down Nautilus for the double, lands end of the line on Ash for the triple. Vladimir is the next to go. However, the duel is interrupted, but a nice quick draw dodges the oncoming bandage toss. And with that, Amumu accepts his defeat, allowing Era to pick up the Penta and the victory. And at number one, we have Deadheart on Bard. Deadheart decides to get closer to his foes. He magical journeys, which puts him in a perfect position, getting the stun on both Vayne and Soraka. He follows it up with a beastly tempered fate. I know we see a lot of bards on the list, but look at this. Amumu, Bran, and Jin close by and ready with their ultimates. Amumu flashes, making sure his Curse of the Mummy gets all five while Jin is sniping like he's auditioning for FaZe Clan, while Bran's Pyroclasm cleans up the rest. And for our bonus, we have Jojo on Jarvan. Jojo initiates a fight with Dragon Strike and locks down Rise with Cataclysm, but things get sticky when Nocturne activates Paranoia. Rise goes down, but Jojo has to make a break for it, so he flashes over the wall. He sees Thresh's lantern, so he decides to pull off a sick move with. Uh -huh. Stupid flag. Demacia, you failed me for the last time! Are you guys sick of ads? Well, this isn't one. We're just giving stuff away. Plays.tv is hooking us up with five mystery figurines that will contain a random champion from their store. We're also giving away three mouse pads as well. To enter the giveaway, visit the description box underneath this video and follow the link at the top. It should only take you a minute, and if you haven't checked it out yet, we have a Plays.tv account for both our League of Legends and Overwatch channel. Slash Potato Monster for League and Slash Potato Monster OW for Overwatch, so make sure to follow us on there. And be sure to check out the app while you're at it. It records all of your games in the background, and it's perfect for submitting plays for our top five lineup. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for stopping by and supporting our videos. We wouldn't be here without you guys. Have a great one, and we'll see you next time.